Hello, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would just do a quick chatty but less chatty get ready with me. Do you enjoy the chit chat get ready with me's? Because I really enjoy sitting down and filming them but every single time I sit down to edit them I get a little cringe. It's a little cringy. If I should do less talking let me know. If you like the craziness, the chaoticness, that is me. Um, okay, then I will keep it up. And if you're new here, hey, hi, welcome. We get a little chaotic. I am like a hot mess express. I have a thousand thoughts going in my brain all at a single time. Spring is upon us. And I figured we could do a quick springtime chit chat. Get ready with me. It is a beautiful, bright, sunny day. And I feel like we don't get a lot of those here on the East Coast. So I thought I'd sit by a window. We'd sit in this beautiful space that my husband is allowing me to use. Actually, no, he's not. He has no idea that I'm in here, but he will once I upload this video. I'm back on the Coke Celsius, which I just said all those things about being a psychotic person. <laughs> Whew. I really am just a very anxious being who should stick to water. All of this extra caffeine. And I'm like, I'm the person that sits here and I hate myself because I'm like, I have anxiety. I have a billion thoughts a minute. And it's like, okay, but does that stop you from waking up in the morning and the first thing I grab, the first thing I grab every day is coffee. I don't even have a sip of water. I have no sip of anything. It's like wake up and I'm a zombie to the coffee machine. I just, I don't really think that that's good for me. Just hydrating my lips with some Laneige. I have my face primed. I have my everyday skincare routine. I'm using Shiseido, the Ultimune Serum. I will put everything down below. Oh my God, do you see what I did? <laughs> I went to throw this necklace on because I really wanted to wear a necklace that you guys can buy. Because a lot of you guys mention all the time that you like my jewelry, but a lot of my jewelry is like hand-me-downs from my husband, from my grandma, from my family, or it's like jewelry that I found when Mike and I were traveling in like Greece or like Italy. That That's not like a mainstream. I can't just be like, click on the link below. This is from Amazon. I like to wear the toggle in front. I feel like it spices it up, but I mean, you're intended to wear it like this. Maybe it what you will. I just, and I'm gonna say, I feel like the toggle in the front has become a trend and I have been doing this ever since I was a little girl. Mix it up, it kind of makes it more fun. This is from Amazon, fingers crossed it's still available. I will link it down below. Of course, she hasn't barked all day. The time that I sit down to film a video, Barky McBarkerson is back. I have never used this, but I want to do like a jutsy, glowy, like effortless, ethereal, kind of like spring makeup. I don't know. That's what I have in my head. This is from Rodile. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is their Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer Soft Focus Glow Drops. Why does everything nowadays have like 30,000 words in the name of them? Oh yeah, that is thick. Okay. If you know me, I really don't use primers. That's like a thick primer. And I'm just gonna put this over the areas of my face that I like a little bit of jutes and see if this does anything. Is that doing anything? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, this is nice. It's thick, but it, it melts down nicely. And it's very spreadable. So that's just like, in my opinion, a jutesy little skincare layer. We'll see what it looks like underneath the makeup. I personally do not think that you need something like this. Full disclosure, I am never going to be that person that sits here and tells you that you need to buy everything. If anything, if you watch my channel, you know I am someone that will show you a product and teach you multiple ways to use the product so that you can use that product in different aspects of your makeup routine so you don't need to buy a glowy primer, a blush, a br like, you know, I just, I try to make it so that I spend all my money while you get to not spend so much of your money. Does that make sense? I'm not a primer kind of gal. I say it all the time. I think that a juicy kind of skincare routine will glow throughout the day. But if you like a little bit of addedness or maybe if your skin is just a little duller, then I don't know. I don't, really don't feel like I, I have, I feel like I do have dull skin. I don't know. But if you just like that extra bit of jutes, something like this, I wonder how much this is, but this gives me Charlotte Tilbury vibes, the flawless filter, which I've been using a lot more lately because I bought it and it's just been sitting on my vanity. And like I said, I'm trying to use on my things. It's giving me that vibe, but like less color. This is just clear with like a natural glow. Every spring and summer, I bring this bad boy out. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I need to shake it 
before using it. It says to apply this with a beauty blender, which makes sense because Beauty Blender is the company that made this, but I do really like it applied both with a brush and with a beauty blender. It kind of, let me, let me zoom you in. Let's get up close and personal. It just depends on your preference. Honestly, I think a brush can be natural and not as coveragey as you would think if you apply it in like pressing, stippling motions, if you work the product into the brush, because if you work the product into the brush, it just makes the lay down more natural. Whereas a beauty blender can be more natural if you're not applying too much product, but it can also be more coveragey. Does that make any sense? Probably not. I'll really always go for a brush. I don't know. I mean, beauty blenders are nice and I do think that they do add a bit of jutes, a bit of hydration to the skin, especially for those of us who need it. I do understand when you're in a rush, just dampening a beauty blender, applying your foundation, applying your contour, applying your cream, like all of your cream products with it, like that I get. But also like the getting up from my vanity and dampening my beauty blender, like that takes time. And I don't know why, but that is like the resistance factor for me and a beauty blender, aside from the fact that I just kind of feel like I'm painting when I use a brush and I just, I kind of like that. It makes me feel like I'm an artist because I am one. Whereas a beauty blender, I just, the, the punching of the blender into your face, the punching, it's not very like elegant or artist Artistry, artisty, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. A very long story short to tell you that I will always choose a brush over a blender. I'm trying to get rid of this. I love this. I would totally buy this again, but I have so much product. This is the OG Sculpted Face Stick in Copper. I've talked about this so many times. It is really good. I don't apply a lot. And I just use this as like both a sculpting contour and a bronzer. It has that like nice tone. It does look very dark against my skin, but it is super emollient. It blends out really beautifully. And I'm just gonna take a dome brush like this. This one is from Yensa. I will link it down below, but it just, Look, it blends out seamlessly in two seconds. What are we all excited for this spring? I really wanna hear, like, what do you have on your agenda? I am so excited. I'm an Aries baby. My birthday is April 4th. I just feel like I die in the winter. I'm dead, I'm hibernating, I'm miserable. It's just a miserable time. And then March hits, which I'm really, I'm waiting for March to slap the way it normally slaps. It ain't slapping like it normally slaps this year or the past few years, honestly, but March rolls around and we push the clocks forward and then it's like the sun is out more and it's just a happier time and then I think I just become one with my sign I'm an Aries I am very and I really am an Aries and I don't know do does everyone feel like they can relate to their sign because I know like some people will say well yeah you can relate to your sign because it's so broad and it covers so many generic characteristics but I read other signs and I'm like I could not I cannot relate to this sign. I love Libras. I have a lot of Libra friends, okay? I have a lot of Libra friends and I feel like I get on with Libras really well, but I could never be a Libra. And that's no shade to the Libras out there. I can't sing like Kumbaya with people. I can't like, I'm not very good at balancing. Like I love to sing Kumbaya with people. I love peace. I wish there was peace on earth. I'm not about people's bullshit and I'm not about sitting down with people and pretending like I am. I'm just gonna add a little layer because I feel like I want a little bit more spice. My friend Katie, is a Libra and you she is so good she has such a poker face sometimes like when she's talking to other people and people will say something and I will think to myself the audacity and not only does my head say the audacity but my face immediately says the audacity her you would never know has such a poker face and then we'll leave and I'll be like are you are what? What just happened? And she'll be like, I can't even believe what just happened. And I'm like, well, your face believed what just happened. I really feel like I identify with Aries in such a way. I could never relate to another sign. I'm very aggressive. I'm very 
competitive, but I'm not very competitive with other people. I don't look at other people's success and think like, oh my God, like I need to like be better, bigger, greater than that person. No, I am like so competitive with myself. It's like unhealthy how competitive I am. I'm just saying. It's about to be Aries season and I feel like my season, it's the season where I thrive. I love the spring. Honestly, spring is my favorite season. I love the summer too because I love being at the beach and I love going down the shore and it's just like more laid back vibes in the summer, but I am a spring baby and I just, yeah, I just really am. So I don't know where I was going with that. And I said how many times that I wasn't going to talk too much, but here we are. Here we are. I don't know what it is. I am so a woman of few words in real life. I don't know if any of you can relate to this, but I, like I said, I can't like just, I can't turn it on. It's just not in my nature. I'm that person. I'm an Aries where I enter a room and I assess the situation. I'm kind of just like that person that's like, up against the wall in the back and I'm just like seeing where everybody's at and reading the room. And then I like make a mental note like, oh, Sam's in a bad mood. Oh, Kathy's in a great mood. Oh, the, you know, I just, I am, I'm an assessor. I'm not the life of the party. That's not me. I am always down to have a meaningful conversation, but I've come to realize as I've gotten older that not a lot of people like meaningful conversations and I'm a little too too deep for some. I'm really not good at being a surface person and I'm not saying that as a bad thing because I used to think that like surface people were like, you know, it's like your surface, like material, I'm materialistic. I'm not surface though. Like if you wanna have a legit conversation about life, where you're going, like I love giving advice and I love talking people off the edge or ledge, whichever one it is. Although I'm not very good at doing that for myself, which is so annoying, honestly. But I love to have meaningful conversations. I love to have deep conversations. And I think like a reason why I don't have too many friends, I can't sit down and just drum up a conversation. I just, I'm not good at making a small talk. I'm not good at the small talk, but I wish that I was good at the small talk because my husband is a Gemini. I love like going on double dates with him and going out with him because I will have anxiety the entire time leading up to said event, said date, and he will just carry us through the night with his conversational pieces. And I'm like, thank you, Michael. God bless you because I just, I could never, it could never be me. It could never be me. I feel like this is going to be the blush of spring. And I know you're looking at this and you're like, Fortune, um, that is a dark plum shade, but let's look at it on. I've showed you this many a times and I just can't, I can get enough because these are very pigmented. We should know this by now, especially me, because the first time that I put this blush on, it was like, oh my God, I had to wipe off my entire makeup because I just looked crazy. Love a jutsy blush. Like, I just love that. And you would never think that this is this, would you? Like that looks, I mean, I guess you could. It just looks so dark in the pan, but it blends out like a dream. I feel like this is like one of those blush colors that looks good any season. These, oh, I feel like every time I apply a blush, I feel the need to say like what my favorite blush is. I really like Tower 28 and I really like Merit. Those are my two favorites. I've been really good since my recent video where I said that I only get one color of the Givenchy Prison Libre powder because I literally eh, go like that. I've been really good at putting it upside down into the lid. Michael, if you're watching this, I did that in my own room. Don't worry, I did not get powder all in here. I'm going to just take the creases out of my concealer. Oh, and I didn't apply any did I apply foundation? Oh my God, I did apply foundation. What is wrong with me? Guys, when I tell you, my mind is like, I am shot. I'm thinking about taking a mental health day because I really need one. Like, you know, some days when you wake up and this has been happening to me a lot and I'm applying the Prism Libre to the center of my face where I don't wanna get shiny. And I'm also cleaning up underneath the contour and the blush. But you know like when you wake up and you're just like, vile. Like, what does Mike like to say that I am? I'm feral. A vile, feral being, you know? Like, it's just like you wake up on the wrong side of the bed and you know. Like, you're like, you know what? I should tap out. 
for today. Like today ain't the day. No one, no one, no matter how much I think that they deserve it, no one actually deserves the wrath of my being today. If I don't take a day, I'm only gonna end up hurting myself. Do you know what I'm saying though? The other day I woke up and I was like, I'm a vile being today and there is no way that I can keep a professional and I'm gonna hurt feelings along the way and I knew I was waking up going to be someone that I wasn't proud of and on those days, I think a mental health day, I think a mental health day is in order and my camera is overheating because I think it's telling me it needs a mental health day. So I am going to draw my brows on, give her a minute, and then we'll talk about all of the things that I use for my brows. Speaking of feral things, this brow man, she is feral. I don't know. They're uneven. I don't care. I'm just, I'm embracing the uneven brows because I said this in a recent video, but like everyone else in the world, most people, they don't have symmetrical brows and I find it endearing. But for me, I just like look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, what is your face doing? To fill in my brows. I am only using this because I bought this and it is expensive and I absolutely hate it and I need to just use it and get rid of it. This is the Grande Brow 2-in-1 Tinted Brow Gel. I literally use this from like here to the end of my brow. I do not use this in the front of my brow. It just looks too, too chunky looking too. It just looks like I tried too hard and I drew my brows in too heavy. Although one could say it looks like I do that all the time because I do love a bushy bold brow. The color and the texture of this, it looks better from, it looks better on the tail of my brow. And then as I get in closer to the front of my brow, I've been using this e.l.f. This is the Wow Brow. I think it's like natural brown, neutral brown. I've been using this in the front, just like right here where my hairs go up. Probably use a little bit more on this one. I don't know, but you've been forewarned. This kind of goes outside of the lines. So I used a brush to kind of just clean up the edges and underneath. I use this brush to just perfect them a little bit more. I know this is a lot of product. You really don't need this much, but I just, I like a bolder brow. I've been really loving these RSLA BB Brow Pencils and I use the shade Blonde today just to give a little bit of definition. So I used three different shades, a dark brown, a neutral brown, and a lightish blonde because I just find like it gives more dimension to the brows and makes them look more natural, you know? I was looking through all of my eyeshadow palettes. I don't buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I don't really do a lot of eye makeup. It's just, it hasn't been my vibe. And I just feel like you can only own and I don't feel this way with everything, so I sound very hypocritical. Hypocritical? Yes, that is a word. I sound very hypocritical when I say this, but like, how many nude eyeshadows can one need? If you're into eyeshadow, I would say a lot because I'm very into lipsticks and I need a lot of nude lipsticks, so I get it. I'm just, it's not me. It ain't me. When I think of spring, like, I really think a lot of like lavender and plums and there was this one Clinique eyeshadow palette that my sister-in-law gave me and I absolutely love it. I still have it, but I'm not gonna use it because you can't get your hands on it. So I wanted to use something that you guys could use. So this is the El Maquillage Color Boss in Make Moves. I'm just gonna keep it light in here. So I'm gonna go into this like mauve pink shade on this fluffy brush. This is an effortless crease blush. Effortless crease brush by It Cosmetics. You know, we're just adding to the blush effect that we have going on and it is a beautiful shade. Can you see it kind of matches the blush? Did this on purpose in case you were wondering. Sometimes I'm thoughtful, most times I'm thoughtless not really caring where I put this. I'm putting it under the eye. I'm putting it into the crease. You guys know, I kind of just like frame the eye with this just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna take a bit more and I'm just gonna put it all over the lid. Again, I love that. Like I love taking a brush. I don't know what it is and this is weird. I love taking a brush, going all willy nilly into it. I don't know. I just, there's something about it because I know it's not going to come out perfect, but I know it's going to look good. I don't know. This is just, I feel like in the start of my makeup career, I would sit here and I would watch YouTubers and whoever else, like any kind of beauty content creator. And it was like, we were all just doing the most. I was really doing the most. And now I enjoy doing less and thinking about it less. Like I feel like when I used to film, it was a whole production and I didn't, I enjoyed it clearly because I've been doing it for like years at this point now. Honestly, how many years has it been? I don't know. So clearly I enjoy it, but 
it kind of like took the fun out of it. I would spend so many hours planning a video, whereas now I kind of just go through the motions of thinking of a topic, going through my collection, pulling items for said topic, and then just like doing the damn thing. When you think about things too much, it hinders you from the action of doing them. And it's good to plan, but if you plan too much, that creates a lot of anxiety around it and it just takes away from the doing. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it takes away from the filming, it takes away from the editing. So I am just like babbling and she said she was gonna be quick and not do this today, but clearly she's a liar. I was going through my collection when I thought of this video and this Araceli Ojos Perfectos Gel Pencil Eyeliner in Sangria. Like let's all take a second for her. That is a spring eyeliner if I've ever seen one. Is that not a spring eyeliner? That screams spring to me. And I'm just going to lightly line the lid. And this has flecks of glitter in it, which is cool. And I feel like it's gonna look cool with my shirt. It's either gonna look cool with my shirt or it's gonna totally clash with my shirt. But I don't know if I really wanna like wing it out or if I just wanna keep it to the lid. So let's start on the lid first. So I just put it across the lid, can you see? Now I'm gonna take it and wiggle it between the lashes in my waterline. Oh, but maybe not be so aggressive. I'm applying my eyeliner like I apply my eyeshadow and you need to be a little bit more precise and a little bit more careful with your eyeliner because it's like a stick going into your eye. I'm not gonna do a wing, but I kind of just pull it up a little bit to lift the eye in the corner. Just like that, can you see? It's like a little baby. Can you see the difference between my two eyes? Very pretty. I'm gonna take my hourglass palette and I'm gonna take the bronzer shade. You could take any bronzer. It does not need to be this fancy schmancy bronzer. And I'm just gonna throw this into the crease. Doing the same thing I did with the, that like light shade from the El Maquillage palette. But I kind of just wanna add a little bit of warmth to the eye and also it's gonna pull my shirt in. I've never really been into eyeliners. I used to not be into them because they intimidate me. Still not into them because they intimidate me. Like I just, they intimidated me. Then I finally learned how to do an eyeliner on my eyes. And now as I'm getting older, as we're all getting older, my like creases here are like falling down a little bit. So I'm trying to, and they're not even creases. This crease comes down more than this one, so they're just never even. And we all know how I feel about asymmetries on my face. I don't like them. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Sky High. In a recent video, I got the primer and the mascara. I don't like the primer, so I'm just gonna use the mascara. I think I'm just gonna get rid of the primer, honestly. It's like terrible. So I'm just using the regular mascara. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I just, I don't really love this mascara anymore because I can't get enough of my Lancome Lashy Doll. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just finesse. Blush, and I'm gonna hop into this shade right here and I'm gonna keep it to the back. Now this kind of technique adds like a blown out effect. It makes your blush look more natural some into the crease like that but like look how pretty look how stinking pretty the blush is it's like a blush moment and i feel like spring and summer like all i crave is a juicy bright blush take a bit of the highlighter right here this light pink one add it to the tops of my cheeks not that i need it because i really don't but i'll show you the difference so that's with a little bit of this hourglass highlight, which I like because it looks like a natural diffused light. It's it's not like very shiny. Whereas this side, it looks nice though. Like you could leave this thanks to the skincare, thanks to the dew drops that we use from Rodeal. But like, I just, I think this kind of like softens it and makes it look more cohesive. I don't know, I could be crazy. I just like the way that that looks. So that's what we're gonna do between my brows just a bit. I think we all know that this is the moment we've all been waiting for because if you subscribe to my channel and you watch my videos i think we all have a lip a lipstick addiction um just gonna say and if you know you know because i really am really really in love with these o face lipsticks from elf they are my favorite lipsticks at the moment let's start with the lip liner first and i'm gonna use my honeybee gardens island spice my favorite lip liner at the moment i would say the two that i have been gravitating towards the most 
in terms of, did I say this was an eyeliner? I don't know what I said. We all know it's a lip liner. Oof, honey. I also love how I just can't stop talking even when lining my lips. Let me line my lips, okay? Okay. These lipsticks, I'm pretty sure I own five or six of them. I wanted to use two shades. This is like the most unique shade in my opinion of all these lipsticks. If you wanna see all the lipsticks swatched, I did a shorter video, I will link it up here. But this is in standing ovation. Personally, my favorite. And when I uploaded that shorter form video, that seems to be the majority of people's favorites. So. It's just like a very expensive, unique color. Look at that color. Don't I look like an expensive mob wife? That's a, maybe not, but you know. Mike and I are watching The Sopranos and I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm really getting into my Soprano character. I don't know what character I am. Growing up, my Aunt Lisa always told me that I reminded her of Meadow, which is like the daughter of Tony Soprano. But then someone told me I'm like a less, I don't know her name, cause she honestly hasn't been in the show heavily thus far. You're like a more chill version of Adriana from The Sopranos. Okay. And now I'm gonna go in with No Doubt. Also a very unique shade. I have to say Elf smashed it with these colors, but I'm gonna apply this to the center of my lips to give a jutes, a pout. Think of that as like a highlighter for the lips. Oh, I really like that. And then I was going through my lip collection because if you saw my recent video, <laughs> I have a lip problem. I bought so many friggin' lipsticks. I think I bought like 12 new lipsticks and I had nowhere to put all of them. So I went through my collection and I found this clear lip gloss from Inglot. I'm just gonna apply it to the back of my hand and then dab it in the center just to give a little bit of shine. See? Ooh, expensive. It's a very expensive lip, but it's not really expensive. It just looks expensive. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look, I gotta say. It goes really well with my sweater. What do we think, what do we think? This is a very me look, quick, simple, easy, although it really wasn't that quick because I, I literally talked the whole time. I didn't drink any of my Celsius, just the whole time. I'm parched, I'm tired. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments, what are you excited for this spring? What are you doing? What outdoor activities? What like spring makeup are you most excited for? I am personally most excited for like fun lipsticks. I've purchased a bunch of different shades, kind of like the standing ovation one where it's nude, but it's like more fun. I've also purchased a lot of reds. I'm gonna leave my lipstick haul video that I recently did in the end credits of this video if you wanna see some fun lipstick colors, but I'm most excited to kind of keep the face as is, keep the eyes as is, light, not too much fussing, but like give it a punch with like bright blushes, bright lips. I think that's gonna be my vibe this spring, summer. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed and you enjoy this video, consider subscribing, watch some of my videos. If you vibe with me, I would love to have you here in my minuscule corner of the internet. Again, thank you so much for joining me and I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.